Hello guys. <laughs> Hello everybody, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, please stop playing this. I can't. I can't. I am a moth to the flame, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing? How's everyone doing today? Everybody had a good weekend? You guys, oh yeah, so uh, can you guys see the comments on the screen? Because, um, yeah, it might be a bit distracting. The reason I've done that is because um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a second channel uh, that's going to be uh, both, that's going to be for my streams, basically. So after this one, the rest of the uh, gaming streams and other random streams I do are going to be archived onto that channel. But what I have to do is I have to download the video file and then upload it to that channel. I can't, like swap it over. Uh, so, if there's no chat, there won't be chat in the video, and so a lot of what I say, uh, the context will get lost. So, the the way I want to avoid that is by having the chat on the screen in the video. Uh, although, it might be a bit distracting. What well, I'll, I'll make it smaller, actually, if I can. Uh, is that a bit better? I made it a bit smaller. Let's see how that is. <laughs> what, a hunt what does Hunt Down the Freeman in high school have in common? They both made me want to do... Oh, that's, that's not nice. That's not nice. Uh, okay, I'm just going to post the link to the live stream uh, on a bunch of um, social media. I'll be back in a second. Hello, everybody. You're just joining us. Yeah, but... You can meet girls at high school. Well, not if you went to an all-boys school. <laughs> um, I don't know if those are a thing in the US or anywhere else, but we have them in this country. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're not great. Edgy music intensifies. <laughs> edgy music intensifies. Oh, yes. Oh, there's so much edge. <laughs> there is so much edge. Uh, you went to a Catholic girls' school. Oh, yeah, that sounds awful. That sounds awful. Uh, first stream on this channel. Well, I have streamed on the channel before. Why don't I stream on Twitch? I did... Um, I did... Originally, the first game stream was on Twitch. Uh, the problem with that is, uh, my, the viewers, a lot of the viewers on YouTube hadn't transferred to Twitch yet, so there weren't that many views at first. Um, and at the moment I'd rather you guys all see it, but I, I, I would like to gradually move, move over to Twitch. One of the reasons is that I didn't realise that on Twitch you kind of have to do what you do for YouTube, and uh, to be honest I haven't looked into it too much, so I shouldn't say a lot, but it seems like you also have to enter, um... Um, you have to do essentially what you do with YouTube, like enter the partnership program in order to, uh, you know, basically accept donations and stuff like that. But Twitch will run ads on your stream anyway. It's just that none of it will go to you. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> thanks. And also, I'm finding YouTube a lot more convenient platform, a, mo a much more convenient platform, honestly. But maybe I need to get used to Twitch. So, um... Uh, is it okay if I post the link to the stream on some discords? Uh, yeah, sure. Depends. I mean, depends which ones, obviously, as long as the people would be interested in it. Yeah, sure. Uh, is that Geralt? No, it is not. It is not. It is just some guy. <laughs> some, uh, very edgy guy. Um, as you will see. Uh, t -t 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 yeah. yeah, Twitch does have a huge amount of ads. Um... So, I didn't realise that until after I watched somebody else's stream and I saw how many ads there were on it. I thought, oh, okay. But apparently they just put ads on 
the streams regardless of whether you're like in the program or not, which doesn't seem very fair, honestly. So yeah, uh, YouTube for now, but unskippable. Yeah, they're unskippable ads as well, which is just annoying. Yeah. So yeah, so for now, I'm gonna be uh, streaming on Twitch. I'm gonna see what happens. Oh, I've put it on top chat. I need to put it to live chat. Yeah, I also had uh, technical issues on Twitch, uh, from what I recall. It was buffering. It was a bit worse than YouTube, basically. My experience was worse than YouTube, yeah. I'm nearly at 666 subscribers. Oh, I'm quite glad of that. Why does he have scars? Because he's been hit in the face with a crowbar a few times. And those are apparently crowbar scars. Apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, all these characters are poorly designed. So, um... Yes, welcome guys to part two of this series of streams in which I play awful video games in order to torture myself for your amusement and to satisfy my own morbid curiosity. Uh, so there's only been one stream so far, uh, that is archived onto my YouTube channel if you do want to go and watch it, but if you missed last week, you didn't miss very much. Just a lot of pain. Just a lot of pain. And yes, for this first in the series, we are playing Hunt Down the Freeman. So for any of you who do not know, this is a game that was released uh, in the Half-Life franchise. Half-Life being uh, one of Valve's, well, the, Valve's probably most famous franchise, the one that made them big and successful in the first place. Uh, and it was awful. It was truly, truly horrific. It has been patched since release, so it is not as bad as it was when it came out. But it is still really, really awful, um, as you will see. And yes, as some of you guys have been saying in the chat, there was some one of the um, one of the marketing hooks of this uh, game was that they got in certain famous YouTubers to be voice actors, um, including my daddy and senpai. I hate everything. Uh, Pyro Cynical is also in it, and he has probably the best line in the entire game. His, I mean, some of the dialogue uh, takes the game over the so over the so bad it's good line. Most of this game is so bad that it's bad, but a lot of it is just bad. Uh, Keemstar is in it. Unfortunately, you've missed him. He was in the part of the game that was streamed yesterday, and yes, he was awful. Why was he in it? Colossal is crazy was in it. You've also missed that. Uh, so we were about three hours into the game now. Uh, and yeah, so... I couldn't get enough of last week, and apparently you guys were enjoying the stream, so I thought I would do it again. I thought I would do it again. Yeah, um, and I might actually have to ask the chat for help, because uh, I'm in unfamiliar territory now. Uh, last time when I, I redid the stream, I'd replayed it, so I kind of knew what I was doing. But most of the time I spent playing it was trying to work out what the hell I was doing. So, <laughs> yes, I may have to ask you guys for help. Um... Or you can just sit back and watch me, watch me bleed profusely, slowly, <laughs> whatever you guys want to do. Uh, yes, Keemstar plays the president. He plays the president of the United States, believe it or not. Uh, so, technical question, guys. Uh, how is the uh, game audio to my voice? How does it compare, like, in terms of volume? Yeah, press Alt F4. <laughs> I might as well delete System System 32. That's the only the only thing you seem to miss. Oh, hey Jude Robson too. I saw your comment. Oh yeah, somebody commented before. Let me just go see if I can find it again. Uh... Lumberjacks. Oh hey, uh, thanks for your comments, man. I did notice them. I'm slightly louder than the game. Make sure I get. It's okay. It's all right. It's pretty good. Smooth like melted butter. Oh, yes. Yeah, it... Uh, I'm louder. Okay. Uh, basically... I'll, I'll turn the desktop desktop audio up a little bit. The problem is that the desktop audio uh, can be quite loud. Especially the music. Uh, and then there are certain scenes in which there's just constant gunfire and it just drowns out everything. Like, for you guys it was bad last time but for me I could I couldn't I could barely hear anything it was basically ear rape so yeah <sighs> okay right so we're gonna let's not waste any more time let's get back into this 
So here we go. Okay, it's not a blinding white light again, thankfully. But yeah. Why you don't get the Keemstar for president thing? So Keemstar played the president of the United States in this game. Uh, the president was speaking over the phone, announcing the surrender of the United States to the invading alien un empire, the Combine. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how is the second Agony video coming along? It is, uh, it's coming along very, very slowly, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't had time to, uh, play, uh, Agony unrated yet. And I may actually have to go back to... I may actually have to go back to the drawing board with that one and completely rewrite the entire video. Wait, what? What is going on? Oh. What? <laughs> okay, uh... Right, that's random. Yes, Alex from IHE is in this game. He is. Oh, God. Yeah, so this movement speed you can see here, guys. That is slow. Yeah, I did just die. Sort of. I got shot, but then I respawned, and now I'm here. Oh, my God, this is slow. Yeah, this is the actual movement speed. Let's see, do I have night vision? What have I got? I've got one flare. I have one flare to like this darkness. Are you joking me? And then I've got a stick. What is it? Is that a knife? What kind of knife is that? It's like a bread knife. Oh, Christ. Yes, it is a different pistol. What is this? Oh, God. Right. I can... So... The level is completely dark. Oh, yeah. This is how you design a game. So... Is there night vision? No, I lost the night vision. It's completely gone. <sighs> right, so I have one flare. And I've been told that when you use that flare, uh, it disappears. Never comes back. And it just stays there. You can't pick it up or anything. Uh, or, like, it will run out and then that's it. So, basically... Alright, I'm going to have to basically follow the, <laughs> the lights. Uh... The, the, the splotches that are on the screen. Yeah, this level is awful. You have to take... Yeah, I can barely see anything, guys. I can see my hands and the gun, and that's it. And then it's just a bunch of rings. Can I climb out? No. I don't think I fell out. I think I got knocked out, and then I got dumped in this hole. Basically, on the screen, there are slight... <laughs> slightly lighter smudges on the screen, and that is how I'm... Uh, that's how I'm navigating. My eyes will adjust to the darkness. Uh, I don't think that's that's how this works, Linda. I don't think that's how this works. Oh yeah, it's atmosphere. Ooh, uh, here we go. Is there a map? Is there a map? I think you're giving this game way too much credit. Ah! Why? That was not necessary. Okay, that's a little bit better. Act 2, Chapter 1. Deal with the devil. Right. I think I should probably save. I um, I don't know too much about this level, but basically the only thing I've been told is uh, you need to save frequently. Don't follow the white light. <laughs> Yeah, Elvik, this game this game literally abuses the player. Um, I think we're going to see that a little bit more. Yeah, this is exciting, isn't it? This is atmospheric. Completely silent with no no music or anything, just a little bit of background uh, and very plain textures. By the way, guys, uh, if you didn't already know this, a lot of the assets from this game uh, in this game, have been stolen from other games. Uh, so, I don't actually know them all. But uh, if you do... Oh, you're getting motion sick. Yeah, that's... The field of view is at its default, which is pretty small. By the way, all the graphics are set to... Um, set to maximum. 
Uh, I've turned off motion blur because I don't. I've turned off motion blur because I don't like motion blur in games. Other than that, everything is at maximum. Yeah. So if you do see assets that have been stolen from uh, another game, do um, do point them out. Okay, what am I even doing here? Like, nothing has been said. I have no objectives. There's no objective uh, uh, marker, by the way. There's no objectives on screen or, like, menu you can check. Nothing. I have no idea. No idea what I'm doing here or what I'm supposed to... What I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to go. So, yeah. It's totally how you design a game. Yeah. Absolutely. Is that a giant ter transforming uh, human robot? No, it's a... Uh, it's like a dropship. Oh, this is fun. So there's not. So I'm guessing I'm just sprinting. Is that it? <laughs> the objective is to close the game and not waste time. <laughs> Absolutely. Ah, what? Ant? Was that an ant lion? Is that an antlion in the middle of a glacier? <sighs> Great. Alright, this is going to be fun. Did Bethesda make this? No, they didn't. Oh, brilliant. So... Right, so I've got two pistol bullets. And unless I use my sniper ammo on them. Or do I just run away? <laughs> the spider's from Gmod. Right. That, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, check out the scope, by the way. Oh, that is horrible. I'm moving my mouse. Look, that's... Oh, it's awful. Yeah, I'm going to die soon. God... Yeah, so we're, what, like, not even five minutes into playing this. And these are all the problems I've experienced. It's just the new Fallout 76 demo. <laughs> uh, I haven't played it, actually. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of... Uh, I'm hearing that it has a lot of problems with stability and bugs and stuff. Um, any of you guys been playing it? What do you think? What do you think of the game? What do you think of Fallout 76 so far? I'm just going to run away. Fuck this. Yeah, what? this isn't the first time this has happened, but if you uh, make a game uh, where it's easier to just run away from all the enemies than shoot them, that's... It's not a good game. Yeah, no, uh, it wasn't made by Digital Homicide, although it may as well have been. Oh, gee, thanks. Yeah, great. Jump, soldier. Ow. I just, uh... Hurt. I just hurt myself from jumping. The last boss is a Skyrim dragon. <laughs> last boss is a Skyrim dragon. I hope not. Ah, uh, Simro... Is it Simroa or Kimroa? Your goal in life is to be noticed by a streamer. Well, I'm glad I could do... Oh, come on! Oh. oh, everybody press F to pay respects. Jesus Christ. Legate Linnaeus is the final boss. I hope so. That would be the best thing about this game if he is. Um, I actually really liked Linnaeus uh, as a villain. Um, it's a shame that you only get to see him right at the end. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Absolutely amazing game. 10 out of 10, guys. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I was going to turn this into a drinking game. Um, but I've been quite busy this weekend, so I forgot to pick up any alcohol. 
uh, on my way home. Uh, also, I think if I made this a drinking game, I'd probably die based on whatever rules I could come up with, like, oh, I'll drink every time the game is bad. Yeah, I just have to, just have to, you know, cut open a vein in my neck or something and just pour it in. Oh, you're not joking, the final boss of Fallout 76 is, oh, it's, it's Skyrim Dragon, oh, wow. Welcome to Running Simulator. Yeah, this is my running speed. This is it. Time to hunt down the refund. Absolutely. Drink every time you have to run from enemies. So when does the game start? Yeah, this is just a tutorial. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, I played the tutorial in the last stream. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's really bad. It's really bad. Yeah, this is this is an actual game. It's a full price release. It's not a it's not a mod. It's not a free release. It's an actual full price release. Um, I think it was twenty dollars on release. I can't actually remember how much it was. Uh, I paid seven pounds for it in the UK. Right. Okay. Is it up there? Right, I'm guessing how to do parkour. So they added a parkour mechanic into this game, which is um, which is weird. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's oh that's making me really sick. I can't watch that. Yeah, if you get motion sick, look away, guys. Oh, that's awful. That is awful. That's an awful mechanic. Yeah, there are free mods that are better than this. Oh wait, where am I going? Oh yeah. Oh. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, uh, right. No, that's my fault. I should have saved. Oh my god. Yeah, I understand the parkour mechanic. It's just, it's a Half Life game. It's, it's completely unnecessary for a Half Life game. Yeah, remember to save. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I'm, uh... Basically, I either walk at this pathetic speed, or I run, and you get the shaky cam, which I don't believe you can turn off. Let me just check that. Uh... I don't believe you can turn it off. Ah, view bot. Right, I will turn that off. I didn't realize you could turn it off. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's so much nicer. Yeah, it's Stockholm Syndrome, basically. <laughs> yes, it's my fault. I should have saved. I fell down some steps. Yeah. Yeah, I do know. I do know Soviet Wumble, but uh, I don't watch him that often. He is. He is very funny, but it's not the kind of content I watch. Uh, watch very often, I have to say. Oh yeah, I don't know if you folks have noticed, but there is no stamina bar whatsoever. There's no stamina bar whatsoever, so uh, you can just run. You can just run constantly and not uh, and never stop. Which, I mean, I'm very grateful for in some areas, uh, but it, but it is stupid. Would I say it's uh, funny bad or boring bad? Most of the time, it's boring bad. Most of the time it's boring bad and it's frustrating bad. Um, sometimes it's funny bad. So you guys missed Pyro Cynical's uh, voice acting. That in particular is is hilarious. It's absolutely hysterical. Um, to be fair, as I, I said in this, I said this in the last stream as well. But I do feel sorry for the, the voice actors in this game because from what Pyro Cynical and IHE were saying, they had absolutely no. Um, no, they were given no direction. Uh, they were basically just told to record the lines. Like, IHE said that he had his voice lines sent to him over WhatsApp, which is just embar embarrassing and completely unprofessional. Oh, come on! And that was all my ammo. That was it. Oh, come on, they're following me, really? Really? 
I thought they were supposed to be territorial. Ugh. Right. Yeah, the aliens are coming! We've been compromised! Like, it's that level of... It's that level of bad. Hello, Captain. Oh, Captain. We are so fucked. Yeah, New Vegas is the best Fallout game, I think. Um... By the way, guys, I forgot to uh, mention this before. Oh! <sighs> Ridiculous. I forgot to mention this before, uh, but in case you haven't already seen, I have set up uh, a subreddit where you guys can uh, chat to me, um, post memes, like talk about latest videos and stuff, or suggest um, I content for future videos, like things for me to watch, that kind of thing. Uh, there's a link to that in the description. I've also set up a an Instagram because people kept asking me to. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, links to both of those are in the description. Uh, I think, yes, I think they did get paid for the voice acting work. Pyrocynical said that he refused the payment on principle because uh, he knew how shit it was going to be. Um... Right. Ah. Oh. Okay, I didn't... <sighs> really? Really? Yeah, drink for every F. Drink for every game ended. Yeah. Game ended. Now, no F this time. There was an ant line to break my fall. Right, so apparently just jumping this way isn't going to do it. Jumping up, I doubt is going to do it. No. All right. Oh. Oh. There's no way I'm not saving that. Oh, holy Christ. Oh, right. I still don't know what I'm meant to be doing, by the way. I have no idea what I'm doing in this place. Use no clip. Use no clip. Um, I don't. I don't want to use no clip unless I absolutely have to because I do want to play this game the way it was meant to be played. Um, I feel like playing on no clip would make it way too easy. Uh, but uh, apparently there are certain bits in the game where you have to no clip that you have no chance, no choice. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I suppose I'm supposed to jump over here now. Is that right? Okay. Shame there's no hardcore mode without any saves. Well, I mean, you could just quit the game if you die. You could just do that. Make your own, make your own hardcore mode. But no, yeah. Those are the textures, by the way. That's, I mean, I've seen stuff in Minecraft that looks better than that. And I haven't even played Minecraft. I've only seen videos of people playing it, or like screenshots. But I already know that this is... I already know that this is worse. Jesus Christ. And by the way, if for anybody wondering, this game came out in February of this year, 2018. Yes, this is not an old game. This is a game from this year. Well, I play a real Half-Life game. The problem is the real Half-Life games are all good. So they don't make for, uh... They don't make for entertaining material, to be honest. This is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> uh, well... You say that, but it has, um... It has lagged out a couple of times in the past. Oh, I see. Right. I feel like I should save before I do anything. Uh... I'm gonna have a shitload of save files by the end of this. Oh! See, there you go. Every time it, like, loads like that, there's, uh really uh, bad stutter and lag. Okay, so what did that do? What did that do? Did that do anything? Okay. Do I have to go up here? 
Oh, crap. Game ended. Game ended. <sighs> All right. Well, yeah. At least it does. It does auto save, thankfully, uh, occasionally. Let's see if there's anything in the box. Ah, at least the sound is realistic now. So, uh, last time I had a knife, but whenever I hit anything, it made a met metal sound. Whether that was hitting a wall or hitting a bunch of crates, it would make a metal sound. But now it actually sounds, you know, like I'm hitting wood. And that sort of sounds like I'm hitting concrete. Sort of. Right, I guess I ha I am guessing I have to go this way. You can hear the depression in my voice. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't go this way, apparently. Nope. 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 Oh. Is it a machete? It, I, I maintain it looks like a bread knife, just held backwards. Yeah, it's it's probably to do with the light beam. It is probably it is probably something to do with this, but <laughs> no, of course not. No, of course not. Uh yeah, it was, uh, oh, is that a lever? No, it's not. Hmm. All right, well, it's clearly powered something, and it's going outside, so... Hmm. Is it the gate that's over... Is it the gate that's over there, maybe? I actually can't see, so I'd have to go all the way down to open it again. But if I can't go round this way... Wrong lever! Is it snowing inside? So it is. I'm guessing it's... Well, it's, I'm guessing it's meant to be coming from that window, but it's just appearing in midair. Oh, wow. Wow, that's really bad. That's really bad. Is it actually... Is it act? Is, no, I think I've already pushed the button. Yeah, I've already pushed the button. Do you want me to use the sniper scope? Ah, uh, it's awful. Look at that. Awful scope. Awful. Uh, Alright, I guess I have to go down here. Yeah, I, I'm saying... I think it's meant to be from the window, but... Honestly, I can't even tell with this game. I can't... I can't even tell. <laughs> ha... How? Why? Uh, yeah, so by the way, the, um... The on-screen chat... Uh... The on-screen chat does follow what the chat that I'm seeing. I don't know if it's the same for you guys. It does seem to be following exactly, but I don't know what it's like on the uh, on as far as you can see it. Right. Try not to die this time. What? What is even the plot here? That's a very good question. I uh, I have no idea. I mean, at the end of the last uh, last session, at the end of the last act, uh, we, myself and a bunch of others, including uh, I hear everything's character, escaped from the combine on a ship out into the ocean. Uh, and then they said that they went into hiding, and they he talked over a completely black screen about how the Combine took over and transformed Earth. Yeah. Hmm. 
There's a 14 second delay between chat and you. Uh, that does seem to be a common thing with streams. There does seem to be a... Uh, yeah, there does seem to be a gap. Uh, a little gap. As the streams go on, they do... Uh, use the box to climb the shelves. Could I get through that gap? Well... I don't know. Let's try it. You should stream a live watch along of The Emperor's New Groove. Um, I do like that film. Uh, I heard there's they made Kronk's New Groove, apparently. A sequel just involving Kronk. And uh, apparently it's not not uh, not as good. Uh, that could be a future one, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking of doing watch-alongs of uh, really terrible movies uh, that I won't get to review simply because they've either been covered to death... But yeah, mostly because they've already been covered to death. Or I just won't have time. So stuff like The Room, you know, Budemic, Troll 2, that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm really bad at it. Yeah, I'm just going to... You know what? I'm just going to jump off. Um, yeah, that that kind of thing. Um, I'm just going to jump off and die. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god, what? <laughs> no, I, I, I have to save that. Uh, oh my god. I, I don't know what happened. Somehow, I must have clung to the edge of that and hit the ground and not died. I... So... When you're not trying to die, you die, and then when you are trying to die, you're trying to kill yourself. It doesn't work. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. Right, that was bad. Well, at least I got where I was, uh... At least I got where I was gonna go. Oh, no, really? He couldn't get the cap off. <sighs> yeah, save for fuck's sake. Yeah, I will. I did save on the outside of it, but yeah, I'll save. Uh, yeah, so watch along. I mean, I can't have the video on the screen live. I mean, that would be too much. I probably couldn't have the audio either, but the idea, I guess, would be if everybody gets, the, gets a copy of the movie and we boot it up at the same time and then we start watching it together. That sort of thing. I mean, I could do that on YouTube. Uh, some other YouTubers I know do that sort of thing on Discord. Uh, and, you know, to address the Discord thing again, I do want to set one up. I just want... I'm waiting until I have a team of uh, dedicated, uh, trustworthy mods to run it. Uh, and I am flirting with the idea of making it a, a, a patron reward for, like, the lowest tier or something. Like, one or one dollar or two dollars. Or something, just to kind of make it a bit more controllable. Uh, I, I, I'm thinking about it, basically. I'm, I'm weighing up the options. I am currently... Um, I'm also currently setting up a Patreon. Uh, I've set up the page, but I haven't decided on the, on the rewards yet. I uh, I need to do a bit more thinking, and I, I want to... Basically, I want to... Um, I want to get it right. I want to get it right before I did it. Yeah, yeah, just don't have a not not safe for work section, yeah. So, I mean, I was thinking of playing um, Agony Unrated on, on here, but I, there's no way I could get away with that, because the content is way too graphic. Way too graphic. Uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, yeah, it is, it's still loading for me. It is still loading. Hi, Julian. Yes, it's still loading for me. Uh, is it loading? I'm going to check task manager. <laughs> and it has crashed. Nope, it's crashed. Oh, wait, nope. Wait, is it working? 
Uh... Ah! There we go. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> that was the closest we've come to a crash so far in the game. I've been fairly merciful. I am definitely going to save after that. Ooh. I've definitely saved me after that. Oh, my God. High quality professional game. High quality. I'm also, by the way, my computer is also in high power mode. Uh, high performance mode. So it uses up more power to get more performance. Um, and yeah, it's still, the game still sometimes runs like absolute dog shite. Uh, the game is very poorly optimized. Nice. Yeah, this is this is fun. This is fun. Wandering around an empty landscape. By the way, uh, listen to the footstep sounds. So sometimes it changes from. Uh, oh, I haven't. Oh, I'm on five health now. Brilliant. Uh, sometimes the. Um, uh, it sounds like you're walking on stone, and sometimes it sounds like you're walking on snow, which makes sense if you're in the mountains, but the texture is all snow. So why do the... Oh. If fans made a game and made you aware of it, would I review it? Uh, depends on the game, Marcus. Depends on the game. Uh, I... I try and avoid make reviewing like uh, deliberately terrible games from uh, like people who are releasing games for free and stuff because I feel like that's an easy. It's a bit too easy. Um, yes, walking simulator. This is a massive contrast from Act One as well. At least in Act One, you did things, and there was a story of sorts. And yeah, I chose this one. Yeah, because this was a full price release. Uh, it was notorious, and it was a scam. It was uh, marketed as, you know, it's belonging to an existing IP, and it was essentially um, ex trying to exploit the fan base for money, is what it was. So yeah, this isn't the same thing as like, oh, a developer, you know, a learning developer tries to make a new a game. But they're not very experienced and, uh, you know, they're just learning and so it's deliberately bad. And some people do set out to make their games deliberately bad. Uh, just as a thing. It's part of the experience. But uh, other, other studios like Digital Homicide, for example, made games that were bad because they didn't try and they didn't want to try. It was all about asset flipping and Steam cards and whatnot. What is the point of this level? Very good question. Uh... Pad out the running time, it looks like. Look, pad out the running time. God, I hate these things. Yeah, and look how it ended for Digital Homicide. Man, if you guys don't know about Digital Homicide and uh, Jim Sterling, I would highly recommend... Um, I would highly recommend you watch Jim Sterling's, like, 40-minute long video on Digital Homicide, um, and his relationship with them. Because, basically, he reviewed one of their games, and then they, like, reacted to his review, uh, in a very, very negative way. Like, they're the kind of, the kind of people that throw tantrums and stuff. He responded, and then they responded again. This turned into a feud, because the developer is basically a salty motherfucker, um... And also down the rabbit hole, yeah, watch, uh, I like Frederick Knudsen. I like Frederick Knudsen. Um, yeah, watch his down the rabbit hole. Yeah, 40 minutes, but it's worth it. It's worth it. There's so much to talk about. Yeah, they did, and down the rabbit hole did two, uh, documentaries on Digital Homicide. Uh, and it's quite the story. So yeah, Digital Homicide ended up trying to sue Jim Sterling for, I think it was 19... Uh, sorry, I think it was $9 million, and then it turned into 11 and then $13 million or something. It was a lot. And it was ridiculous. Like, it, it was absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Daddy Derek, basically. 
But if he made video games. Oh dear, that stutter. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. The Daddy Derek of video games. At least Daddy Derek didn't actually sue IHE. At least he didn't, but oh my god, what a laughing stock. He's still making uh he's still making stuff, by the way. He's got his uh Cool Cat Stops a School Shooting. Um I think. Or he's gonna change he changed it, I think. He was gonna Oh no. No. Oh Where did that come from? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, apparently, uh, yeah, so he was gonna make, um... You know, if I, if I react with all the frustration that I'm feeling right now, my voice will die very quickly, so I'm resorting to silence. Uh, yeah, Daddy Derek was an idiot. He, uh... People were buying his film because of, like, Your Movie Sucks and IHE and others who reviewed it. Precisely. Yeah. I think he did release it after a school shooting, I think. Or he was advertising it after every school shooting and people were like, no, don't do that. Um, he, yeah, he wanted to make a uh, school shooting... Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, Monkey Jones um, said that he would help fund uh, Daddy Derek's Kickstarter for... Uh, uh, cool Cat Scott stops the school shooting if he could play the school shooter and so he did but then after getting almost all the money uh, Daddy Derek turned around and was like oh no we're changing the project now and just cut Monkey Jones out of the entire thing and Monkey was like well fuck you I'm going to make my own movie then and on principle he made uh, Cool Cat stops the school shooting um, sorry M Monkey Jones stops the school shooting No, it's not even... See, okay, it's not even shooting and it's hitting me. It's not even shooting and it's hitting me. What the fuck is this? What the actual fuck is this? Like, this isn't... get. What kind of gameplay is this? This... Like, there's a few shots that are telegraphed and you can move around it, right? But, uh... You can't... It, it just aimbots. It just immediately... Ugh... Yeah, run at the mountain. See if that yeah, see if that does it. No, but even with snipers and sniping levels, it shouldn't insta kill you. It should give you a chance to dodge. I mean, that's what it did in Half Life, uh, Half Life Two. Oh fuck! I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, the game is hacking. It's not even the only sniper. Oh joy. Right. Great. Yeah, I love hugging walls just to get past areas. That's so... So, so good. Right. Would this be a good place to save? I think so. Uh, can I refund it? No, because I've already played past the two hours of uh, playing time. Uh, but yes, the joke became hunt down the refund. Uh, yeah, it would be hilarious if my character died at the end of this section. Absolutely. Just watching this makes me want to smash my screen. How do you think I feel, mate? Oh, that's... Oh, there's another one. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, say goodbye to my head. Apparently I'm... Like Gordon Freeman, there is no refund. Did I hear about Delta Rune? Uh, no. What? What's that? What is that? And what killed me there? What? Genuinely, what killed me there? Did I get stuck in the terrain and terrain kill me? What? What? What happened there? Oh, Christ. Um, I haven't actually played Undertale, so I don't know about, um, so I don't know what you're comparing it to, basically. Yeah, I guess I must have glitched into the, um, 
into the mountain and then died. Hypothermia, yeah, died of hypothermia. That would make sense in a well-made game. With some kind of meter where you could keep track of how cold you are. But, uh, not in this game. Right. I'm guessing if I go down here, he's gonna snipe me. Yep. You can't get too far away from the main path because there is cold. Oh, so that is an actual feature in the game. Okay, yeah, there is a health bar, but I'm on very low health. And once again, guys, I have no idea. No idea what I'm meant to be doing. Yeah, the guy who made the game is rich. I don't know if he made a lot of money off the game, but he was doing alright anyway. Um... But, uh, the devs, some of them were saying that they didn't get paid for their work, or they got paid very little, which is really, really shitty. Really shitty. Um, I actually do need to look a, in, a bit more into the backstory of the making of this game. Oh! Yeah, see, there you go. Right, so if I go in that exact spot, I die. <sighs> Excellent video game design. Can I snipe the sniper? Let's find out. I think he's... Well, he's in a pillbox, so he's in cover. I'm pretty sure I can't. Nope. I'm not going to try that again. Uh, I think Valve have distanced themselves from it, I'm pretty sure. I, I doubt they would... I mean, I doubt they would get behind this, let's be honest. Are they con artists? Um, I don't actually, I don't know um, if the guy in charge deliberately set out to con people. I think it's hard to argue that he isn't to some extent. The devs themselves, the people that actually made the game, I don't think so. I think, you know, as much as it looks like a piece of shit, some people that worked on this game worked so hard on this game. Uh, and, they get, and their work was completely wasted. It's kind of like Food Fight. The pe it's kind of like Food Fight. Some of the people that worked on that worked really, really hard. Um, and then they got to see the product of their labours turn... You know, it turned out to be a piece of shit. And they don't they don't put it on their CVs anymore. They don't talk about it. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Right. Let's try this again. Maybe if I go this way. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so I clearly dodged that bullet, and it still hit me and I died. Uh, yeah, you know what, I'm... <sighs> yeah, I'm getting a bit sick of this. Can I crawl in the snow? Yeah, I can. Uh, let me go prone and see if... Well, it's very, very slow. Is Hunt Down the Freeman the food fight equivalent to video games? A little bit. Uh, there's a lot of very cheap assets that were bought. I don't know if Food Fight stole any assets, but they were a lot of them were stock bought. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna no clip soon. I am gonna no clip soon. This is ridiculous. Right. Maybe crawling. Yeah, maybe. Nope. Uh, no, that... Yeah, fuck it. I'm no clipping. Well, the incredible bulk was, like, deliberately made shit, wasn't it? Uh, it was deliberately made as, like, a low-budget, terrible film. Oh. It's SV... It's SV Cheats 1, isn't it? SV Cheats... SV Cheats 1, is that it? I think it's SV Cheats 1. Right. Whee! Whee! That's better. Oh! Okay, so... <laughs> right, so I can't... <laughs> what are all those error messages? I, I... That's just the game, man. Although, to be fair, I don't actually see them... That much. Whee! 
Try to snipe me now, bitch. Whee! So I would have to run all this way. Whee! Well, this is much more fun. Whee! Yeah, the, uh, the reviewers... sake. Oh my goodness. Oh. Right. Here we go again. Whee! I can't even get through it in no clip. Yeah, of course I... Okay, no, never mind. I keep flying too far out and then the cold effects. It's not... It seems to be not just um, around on the on the ground, but also in the air. If you fly too far out, you, uh, you freeze to death. You freeze, which is really stupid. That is idiotic. We. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now let's see what happens, because I was half in the terrain when that happened. So, yeah. That bit seems incredibly unfair. Yes, it is. It is terrible level design that I'm pretty sure they put in uh, with the sole purpose of extending the running time, which is an absolutely terrible way to extend your game. Oh, yes, and now I'm uh, now I'm stuck in the terrain and it's loading. So I, I guess we'll just have to see what happens. Can the game cope with this? Yeah, exactly, Takumi. It's fake difficulty. It's not real difficulty. It's art. <sighs> yeah. What were they thinking? Oh, I wonder what the angry video game nerd would have to say about this. Uh... Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's still loading for me, by the way. Okay, task manager keeps going between not responding and responding. Ah, there we go. Right. All right, I'm going to turn off no clip. And we're going to try and play as uh, as normal. As the AVGN would say. What a shitload of fuck. What a sh I can't do his voice. What a shitload of fuck. No, I can't do his voice. Sorry. Yeah, I'm saving, definitely, yeah. Oh, joy. Um, nobody's pointed it out yet or anything, but, um... Yeah, I'm fairly certain these textures aren't original, like they've been stolen, but I don't know where from. Yeah, the only suspension is will or won't it crash. Uh, okay, so I guess I wasn't supposed to go that way. Yeah, I, I did see Vox's Productions video on it. It's very, very good. He uh, he actually dropped into my stream last week. Um, he's cool. He's cool. I like I like Vox's. Uh, if you guys haven't uh, haven't seen him, go check out Vox's Productions. He's really cool. No swearing. This is Christian. Oh, you are you are sorely mistaken, my friend. I mean, I do need a bit of Jesus in my life, let's be honest, but, uh... Okay, so is it this way I'm meant to go? So if I go the wrong way, I die. I guess that's a good, um... Good way of figuring out where I'm supposed to go. It's trial and error. It's like the worst way to do it, but, um... Yeah. Where am I going? No idea. Oh, great. More snipers. Just what I wanted to see. See, this is where the game is, uh... It's so bad that it's, uh... Bad. It's not funny. This is just frustrating. 
Yeah, trial and error is fine in games when there's some... At least something measurable, like some clear indication of where you're going wrong. Uh, and how to separate the things that kill you from those that don't. Like, dark, a lot of Dark Souls is trial and error. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thanks, Takumi. Thanks for, thanks for that donation. Much appreciated. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You see, something like that... Oh, no, I jumped into that. That's my fault. That is entirely my fault. Uh, is there leaning? Yes, there is leaning. Leaning. Don't swear there are nine-year-olds watching. Ha. Yes. Do I believe in art? I don't know what you mean. Very good question. I would donate, but I'm broke. Ah, oh, that's cool, man. Don't worry about it. We've all been there. Did you just say Dark Souls? Yes, I did. I do not. I, I mean, I was saying. I was comparing Dark Souls like in a good way. I was saying Dark Souls is better. Much, much better than this. Don't worry. Okay. They can shoot through the mountain. Nothing makes sense in this game. Absolutely nothing makes sense. Um, it's best just to not think about it. Although, that is technically what I'm doing. This is the Dark Souls of shitty game. Nah, I don't even think this de this deserves to be described as Souls-like in any way, shape, or form. Also, I do feel like the Souls label has been a bit overused now. I think people need to start using different analogies. Not everything is the Dark Souls of something, or not everything is Souls-like, you know what I mean? But yeah, this isn't Dark Souls-like. Like, Dark Souls, for the most part, is fair. For the most part, there are some bits that are utter BS. Um, you see, look, now it's telegraphed, okay, and you can avoid it. That's that's how you do it. It's not an aimbot. Um, okay, yeah, again, it's kind of my fault, but also a bit unfair. Uh, for the most part, Dark Souls is fair. It's not always, but for the most part, it's fair. This isn't fair. Aimbotting isn't fair. Not telling you... When certain things are applying, isn't fair. This game is not designed well enough to be fair. Is it a ship firing at me? No, it's it's a uh, snipers. Oh fuck's sake! Right. Um, how long am I going to be streaming for? Um, like probably three hours. So until nine o'clock here. So it's now seven o'clock. Uh, ten past seven. Ah, uh, no. Oh. Oh, joy. <sighs> joy. There's no health, by the way. Sorry, somebody asked me if I played Surge? Is that right? I don't know what that is. Is that like, um... Is that like a Battle Royale? Like, uh... H1Z1 and... Fortnite and that kind of thing. So this bit, this I don't mind because it is at least telegraphed and it's slower so you can dodge it, right? Well, almost. You can almost dodge it. Well, hunt down the quality. Yes, you have to look very, very hard in this game to find something of quality. The only thing of quality really... Um, I mean, obviously, some of the voice acting, it's so bad that it's good. Uh, you could call that quality if you want, but you'd be doing it ironically. It'd be like saying that Tommy Wiseau uh, is a great purveyor of quality. He's not, but his stuff is funny. Uh, it's entertaining for all the wrong reasons. This game just isn't entertaining at all. Uh, except sometimes when you... Some of the things are so stupid that you can't help but laugh. Thing is, I don't even know where I'm supposed to run to. Uh, Aichi, I mean, he did an okay job considering the material that he was given, but again, he was given no direction. 
Uh, like, he, at one point he was told to do an American accent, so he does, but at other times he doesn't. And he's playing a, uh... He's playing an Asian-American soldier, which is kind of weird. And he, he admitted that was kind of weird. Uh, but yeah. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. That's the thing. Yeah, no clip. Yeah, I will probably no clip soon because this is really starting to annoy me. Right, can I... I want to try sniping. Oh, this scope is awful. Like, I can't even see... Like, I swear I'm pointing right at it. And... Ah! Okay, well, it took the bullet for me. That's nice. <sighs> right, I'm no, cl I'm no clipping again. <laughs> okay, here we go. I mean, part of the reason I had to no clip is that I genuinely have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I have no idea. I think it's this way. Yeah, that looks part. That looks promising. Okay, cool. Right. Oh, <laughs> come on! Oh, come on! Oh, God, that deserves an F. That deserves an F. God's sake. Oh, right, okay, well. All right, I got a little bit of health back from that. Yay. Oh, Jesus. So, um, how are you guys, uh, how are you guys feeling about the stream so far? Are you enjoying yourselves? Because that's, that's what I want to be doing here. I want to be entertaining people. I want to make sure, I want to make sure it's good for you guys. Awesome. Oh yeah, let's, let's let me look at that skeleton again, actually. Hmm. Yeah, that looks weird. Uh, I mean, look, where's the hands and feet? Where's the hands and feet? That's weird. <laughs> that is weird. Jesus Christ. Um, right. No. Uh, this is a, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a masterpiece. Yeah, ignore everything I'm saying. This, this is, this is, this is a true masterpiece. Yeah, I'm no clipping again. Fuck it. Is it through there? Nope. 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 Because I'm dying. And I'm dead. Cool. Cool. This is fun. This is fun. I've had the time of my life And I've never felt this way before for God's sake. Yeah, I should use God Mode, but... I feel like God Mode would be a step too far. At least no clip is entertaining, whereas God Mode just takes all the challenge out of it. Right, is it this way? Is it this way? Okay, Biotectronics. Is it this way? Alright, I've been playing this game for like an hour now. And I still have no... Absolutely no idea what I'm doing in this level. What my like, I have no idea what's going on here. Hmm. Why play a game you can't beat? What the important thing is, why make a game that it's impossible to beat? Why make a game that you have to cheat in order to get in order to complete? Utter. Garbage. Utter garbage. 
Is Oblivion better than this? Uh, yeah, I'd say it is. I didn't actually play that much of Oblivion, but... Uh, yeah, I'd say it's not great. Um, I'd say, no, it's no, it's good, it's good. But there's a lot of very hammy acting and bad voice acting. Yeah. Yeah, don't sing, I'll get copy strike. Yeah, that, apparently that is a thing. Which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous if you sing, like, a bit from a song. Because people keep asking me to sing. And it's like, well, yeah, I would, but... Oh, really? Okay, now I'm fighting the Combine, for some reason. This is fun. Okay, that doesn't sound like a pulse rifle, does it? What? Oh, the recoil. Right, so this is the meant to be the pulse rifle from uh, Half-Life 2 that the uh, Combine use. But, um, listen to that again. Does that sound like the pulse rifle? And what is it firing? I mean, yeah, I guess they are energy bolts. It seems like they've changed the skin of the weapon as well. Like, like, why did they redesign it? It didn't need redesigning. And yeah, I've got a Colt. Yeah, it's like a Colt 911. Why do I have that? I don't know. Too many questions. Still don't know what I'm doing here, by the way. Yeah, apparently ha Happy Birthday is owned by a company. I don't actually know who owns it. Um, but, uh, yeah, somebody owns the rights to Happy Birthday, and so they charge people to use the song. Um, so, that's why in a lot of movies, when there's a birthday scene, you won't hear people singing Happy Birthday, because they don't want to pay the royalties. Yeah. Hmm. I have no words. Do I... Was there a point to being able to go up here? Was... Was there a point to that? Okay. Can't kill him. There, there's literally no point. Absolutely no point. Oh, you think they've Warner Brothers recently released their rights to it? Well, that that'd be nice. I think there should be some kind of um, yeah. I, I I don't know what the um, what the law is, but I think it's it's uh if it's a hundred years old, it enters public domain or something similar. Right, what do I do? I press that. Ah, right now to run. I think. So, this, this isn't the Seven Hour War, this is uh, a few years after the Seven Hour War. The Act 1 took place in the in the Seven Hour War, which is the, um, for those of you who don't know, it's the... Oh, okay. Wait. Oh no, no, it is there. Um, it's the Seven Hour War, which is the invasion of uh, the alien empire known as the Combine. Oh, it is up here. All right. Though this is, uh, I think, two or three years after that war. Uh, yeah. Ah! Sorry, I was in. I was. I completely drifted off then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do I have to go down and then press the button and then come up? Okay. Disney even tried to copy strike the Mexican holiday Day of the Dead. Did they actually? I mean, it is Disney. That wouldn't wouldn't shock me. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't look like I can go down again. Because it just automatically comes back up. Well, okay. How do I... Well, how the fuck do I get through, then? How the fuck am I meant to get through? 
Oh, and I just took all that damage and then... <laughs> right. Right, no, let's see if there's a let's see if there's a way around this without no clipping. And you know what the funny thing is, guys? I can't even kill myself. I can't even kill myself. I have nothing to kill myself with. Are you guys seeing this? I are you guys seriously seeing this? I'm trapped in here with no way to get past except no clip. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna reload because I just lost all that health. So it's not going back too far, I think. Oh, oh, okay. Why did it save after Right. Right, well it's back to here, but at least something exciting is happening. Yeah, you'd think... I, I guess I'm part of the resistance. I don't really know, but... Ah. God, that scope. God, that scope. Yeah, this is the action, guys. This is it. I mean, the combat in uh, Half-Life wasn't exactly um, a highlight of the game, let's be honest. It was slightly simple, it kind of did what it needed to do, but it wasn't, like, amazing. Um, but this is, uh, this is an insult to that. This is an insult to that. At least something is actually happening, yeah. Yeah, the scope is like a magnifying glass, and it looks like the character is holding it a while away from his head. It just looks... yeah. It's just hard to track where you're looking. Uh, this is where the crosshair is. It just... Oh, it just looks weird. Pro gamer. Right, it looks like I'm just gonna have to no clip it. Oh, what is this? What the fuck? Right, uh, put no clip back on. Uh, and I'm stuck. Oh dear. Right, no clip back on. Uh, what is this? So, is there not meant to be anything here? What? Right. When you walk out the elevator, there's a door to the right. Ah, okay. Where did I come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cut an audio. Um. Oh! That was there all along. How did I not notice? How did I not notice? How did I not see that? Christ, okay. Brilliant. Choo choo! Uh, I guess it's this way. Ah. Oh yeah, that uh, sure sounds like the pulse rifle, though, right? Yeah. Why did they change the sounds of this game? Why did they do that? I don't understand. I passed another alcove. Really? I 
I do love the reload sounds for this gun, though. Ah. They're not even making noises when they die. Not even making any noises from when they die. Yeah, I should just get a minigun with exploding bullets. That'd be nice. So that's the alcove I came out of. Ah, oh, it must be that way. Past it again. This one? I can't see- I, I can't see shit. I genuinely cannot see where the hell I'm meant to go. Fucking Christ. Right, I am- I think it- yeah, I'm assuming it is this way. Yeah, this is just tedious, man. This is just really tedious, double sign. Direction of enemies. Yeah, that makes sense. Usually- ah, there we go, right. See, so usually in games, you know, going in the direction of enemies is a good sign. Oh, God. In about... Uh, in about eight minutes, I'm going to take a quick break. Because, uh, fuck this. <laughs> I need a break. Where did the music go, exactly? Ah, loading. Let's see if it crashes this time. And... Okay. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, who thinks the game will crash? Okay, everybody bet. Everybody vote in the chat. Will the game crash? Go on. Uh, man, I suppose. Will I ever get a letterboxed account? Um, I, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Probably not. Uh, and, man, Manus, will you, uh... I believe you uh, asked me in a previous stream about my equipment and stuff, and you said you'd started your own channel. Is that right? How's that stuff going? Uh, was it? It was you, wasn't it? Oh. Okay, it just minimised. Which, based on my previous experience, means it should start up again in a minute. Uh... Come on, just... At least if it crashes, I can say the game crashed at least once. Oh, no, there it is. Nope, it did not crash. Once again. Once again. We are, uh... We are back. That's, uh, that's a shame. That's a damn shame. But there we go. Right. I guess it's this way. I should probably save on my own. Now, actually, before... Right. So, yeah, the game... You know, it's like in Rocky Balboa. It's not how hard you can get hit. It's how many times you can get hit and keep moving forward. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rebecca. Hello again. Yes, hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, did the colour just change? Uh... Yeah, it did. It did. Um, it's not my monitor. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just transitioned to night time. Because, why not? I guess. Yeah, it all looks green. Yeah, that is, that's not my screen. That is the game. That is how it, uh, that's how it is. Oh, fun. Yeah. Right, apparently I don't go into the light. Yeah, that makes sense. Can I snipe out the light? Can I do that? It's usually a thing in these games. Go 
go, go. Move, soldier. Yeah, it's like Blight Town, but uh, less buggy. Blight Town was a mess. Uh, I mean, I, I played the original Dark Souls on um, Xbox, and as much as I enjoyed that game, it, yeah, it had its uh, many, many problems. And then I, I played Dark Souls 3 and on PC, and the difference is just staggering. It's amazing. Right. So... Can I hug the outside? Can I do this? Yeah, I still don't know what I'm doing, by the way. Still don't know why I'm here. Oh. Have I been spotted? Yes, I have. Okay. Amazing. Genuinely amazing. The music is actually the best thing about this game. Yeah. Genuinely is. Uh, I, th I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I think a lot of it is um, original, uh, you know, original compositions. So, you know, I'll, I'll give him credit for that at least. Right. Ah! Ah! No! So you can hug the wall, but you can't hug it too much. Otherwise you start to freeze to death. Ah! So at least now you get some indicator of, uh... You know, when you've gone beyond the bounds of the level. And it would have been nice if I had some indicator that I had been seen. Although, in fairness, I did take my eye off the str off this game for like two seconds. Yeah, we're back to this shit again. Yeah, it's not snipers this time. It's searchlights that kill you instantly. So, ooh, yeah, it's so different and original. <sighs> is the game really that terrible? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it is. If you've just come into this stream, you've missed quite a lot. Okay, so they don't seem to have any effective range. They seem to just be able to spot you. So yeah, I'm guessing you have to go right. You see, I did that the first time. Well, yeah. Yeah. Top five most shocking anime deaths. So, right, so it scans that way. Am I going to have time to get over there before it can see me? Ah, okay, cool. So that seemed to work. Uh, trick is now, which way do I go? Oh, that looks promising. Ah! No! Right. Oh! Look, if you're gonna have this kind of system, at least be able to hide from the things, or they'll be able to dodge it, or something, or make it an alarm, um, where... Make it, make it an alarm where enemies spawn out or something. This is, this is garbage. This is garbage level design. This is fucking awful. Can I shoot the lights? Let's find out. If I can stop sliding. Nope. But, in fairness... It didn't see me either, which is kind of weird, but okay. Nah, nothing. You can't do anything. Absolute garbage. Are there checkpoints? Yeah, there are checkpoints. There are checkpoints. Um, 
They don't always work. <laughs> they don't always save in the right place, but yes, there are checkpoints. Right, I'm going to save here. Right. Why is there even a gun if it doesn't do anything? Well, it doesn't do anything at the moment. It might do something later. Oh, that's... Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Somebody spe spe speed ran? Speed ran? Is that the right word? Did a speed run of this game in 72 minutes without no clip. It's quite impressive, actually. Oh, yeah, this is fun. Yeah. Wait. Oh, I just ran backwards. So... Okay. Let's try this. You can't hide from Zeus. You thought about buying this game? Don't. Don't buy this game. Just watch idiots like me play it for my, you know, for your amusement. Don't watch this. Don't play this game. If I go to hell, I'll be stuck playing this for eternity. Well, I'm probably going there, so at least I have that to look forward to. Hopefully it will get easier with time. Not just less boring. Okay, so now where? Yeah, I'm getting game ended by God for swearing. Yeah, probably. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Up here, maybe? I guess. No? What? Alright, well... Oh. Sorry, that's the uh, zipping sound. That's the inventory bag, if anybody doesn't... Anybody didn't know. Do I have to go up this way? Is that it? Oh, I see. And I take damage. Of course I do. Uh, okay. No. Oh, really? What? What? So that's not where I'm supposed to go. You need to parkour to the top. Oh, I see. Right. Okay, I can kind of see. Ah, right. I just... Parkour in a Half-Life game, man. It just... It just seems so out of place. Yes, you don't get a crowbar, I'm afraid. Uh, at the very start of the game, uh, Gordon to death... Sorry, Gordon Freeman beats you almost to death with a crowbar. Uh, so, I suppose it makes sense why uh, you wouldn't have a crowbar. Be very quiet. I'm Freeman hunting. Okay. There we go. Yeah, maybe if it was good parkour, it wouldn't be so frustrating. Why is the game so dark? Yep, that's, um... Yeah. I haven't adjusted the gamma or lighting or anything. This is just how it looks. This is how it looks. I haven't changed anything. Oh dear. <clears throat> okay guys, uh, I'm going to take a quick uh, five minute break because I need to go to the toilet and restock drinks and just get away from this complete clusterfuck. Um, so yeah, guys, grab some drinks, tea, um, whatever you guys want to do, and I'll be back in five minutes. I will leave you with the sweet, sweet sounds of the soundtrack.
Hello, everyone. Right, I'm back. Sorry. Um, I was just eating. Uh, eating some snacks. And I didn't think you guys would want to hear the sound of my... Um, well, I, don't, I didn't think you guys would want to hear that. Um, anyway, have you guys been enjoying yourselves in the chat? Because, uh, well, how was my trip? It was awesome. It was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, right, I guess we better get back to it. Yeah, so I was eating, uh, I was eating Twiglets. No porn bears today. Okay. And it's back to the shit. Right, okay, so... Does it move? Really? Okay, so... Even if... Even if you're behind cover... It still gets you. How does that make any sense? Right, look, I'm gonna be behind cover. Oh, well, yeah, fuck you, I guess. Oh, Jesus Christ. No one can escape Zeus, absolutely. Right, uh, can I go on here and then... Can I avoid it somehow? No, I can't go up here to avoid it. No. Oh! I guess I did just avoid it. Oh, you can avoid it! Oh, well that's new. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, don't you just love the invisible walls? Don't you just love invisible walls, guys? Right, so I guess... Oh! <sighs> okay, are your friends are turning off the Wi-Fi? Why are your friends turning off the Wi-Fi? Right, yeah, my luck ran out, I think. No, it's not coming. Yeah, they're, they're not bombs. Though that that came directly from the from the light, you know what? I'm gonna I'm fucking no clipping. I've had enough of this. Right, where am I meant to go? This is some serious bullshit. Oh, it's clearly not this way. No, I'm really sick of this. Right, is it in here? Oh, I died anyway. Yay! <sighs> nope. I have ascended. I'm gonna ascend again with no clip. Just go or descend rather, just go through the floor. Yeah, this is great level design when you have to literally cheat to get through the game. Wait, where's that coming from? Where is that coming from? How can it... How has it seen me? Alright, I'm guessing there's nothing in here. And I died again. 
Change no clip to Wii time. <laughs> All right, it's Wii time. Wee. Right. Is this where you're meant to go? Is this where you're meant to go? It doesn't look like it. It just looks like a like it's been hollowed out. Honestly. No. No, this is a dead end, isn't it? Nah, this that can't this can't be it. I don't understand why. Yeah, see, this is it's empty. Ah, okay, there's uh, there is something in there. I think. Let's, let's go in there with no clip. Oh. Wait. Something's happening. Something's happening. I guess that means it's good. Because it went... Well, it might not be. I don't know. I can't... I really cannot tell. I really cannot tell in this game. Awful. Enable viewable in the notebooks. Yeah. <laughs> I will never escape. I will never escape. I will never escape. All right. Is it going to crash this time? Is it going to crash this time? What do we think? Okay. Oh, well, it's done this before. Uh, in, task in Task Manager, it says not responding. Um, but it's done that before. So it might come back. We don't know. Is it going to crash? Oh, it's cutscene! And he wasn't in there before. What? I'm just gonna let this play, to be honest. And then comment. A minute, please. I'll be right with you. Go to your room, honey. Daddy has a guest. I'm going to turn the I desktop volume I would assume you've come here to assassinate me. But your outfit... It doesn't look like someone who would like to sit in my chair. I do apologize for my rudeness. My name is Boris. I am the administrator of this fine factory. Look, I don't want to kill you. Not in front of your daughter. I'm just here for the weapons. Weapons? Mister... Do you have any idea what we produce in this factory? Not weapons? Not weapons. Boris. Of course he's Boris. What are those things? Those things are called cremators. You could say they are, in a way, extremely efficient and overzealous janitors. The Combine are planning to spread them throughout the rest of the world. Get rid of the refuse, the detritus, the trash. Keep the streets clean. But in this case, we are the trash. Are those children? <sighs> yes. This is how they control all the new generations. The Combine Some raises great lip them as slaves. Forcing any child older than the age of five to uh, start to work. What about those younger than five? There are none. How many are there in this factory? About a hundred. I know what you think, and I have the same feelings. Wait, why are it they not? It disgusts me, but I have to work for them. For my daughter. That's the only way. I don't think that's disgusting at all. Excuse me. Think about it. Wasn't the main reason we were trying to go to space for decades for the resources? If we had the power to enslave them, wouldn't we? Um, no, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, we couldn't care less a about alien for me. I don't know about you guys. It's just nature playing out its own game. But yeah, it's always it been smooth. between predator and prey. That's the balance. But this time, the tables are turned. They got to us before we got to them, so pulling our resources, draining the oceans, enslaving humans. Enjoy your time while you can, Boris, because sooner or later humans will rise up and put a stop to this. But this time around, 
Humans won't even. Why are his scars hours. purple? They won't stop with the military. They will come for all of us, even oh, yeah, for this you. Oh yeah, super deep. And your daughter. Super deep. You are Edgy. a wise man indeed. Even though I do not share the same feelings as you, I have to agree, Dad, with what you say. You are correct. We just may be closer to the end sooner than we think. <laughs> but there is a difference between you and me. Until that day, I will not give up on humanity. You're a good man, Boris. Now get out of here. Take your daughter and leave. What do you have in mind? I'm going to burn the whole factory to the ground and take those kids with me. You will do this for the children? Well, I will, but not for the children. I need an army. Right after you get out of that room, <laughs> I have to alarm the combine. Just kiss already. You know that, right? Do what you have to do and leave. Even if you don't do this for the children, I do appreciate it. And I won't forget that. Mitchell. Thank you, Mitchell. We'll meet again. We will. Right. So that is the, the the level you can expect from the cutscenes. That's that's not even the worst one, by the way. Oh, I'm still no clips. Um, right. So I guess I have to no clip back into the world. Okay. So I guess now we can go into the factory. Yeah, also, why are there only... Uh, why are there no children under five? Because I'm pretty sure it's said that two or three years have passed since the Combine invaded. And the Combine basically um, set up a device called the Suppressor Field, which basically stops uh, people from being able to reproduce. And so, great, the idea of the human race dying off. So by the time... Oh, by the time you start Half-Life 2, uh, there are no children left at all. But why? Uh, whatever. Maybe that's a lore inconsistency. I don't know if uh, sure somebody more knowledgeable can check that. Verify that for me. Oh, that epic music! Which I swear we've already heard a few times before. Oh, yeah, I'm going to lower the game sound because it's literally just going to be gunfire for a bit, I'm sure. Oh, this would be a good time to have a sniper, wouldn't it? Where is G-Man? G-Man did appear in the game uh, at near the start. He basically, he basically say he uh, pulls you out, saves you from death at the hands of Gordon Freeman, or like Gordon Freeman leaves you to die, and then you wake up and G-Man is there, and he says, "Black Mesa." Right, I might have, I might actually be a bit more invested in the story if they'd actually explained what was going on before, um, you know, you suddenly get that cutscene like, oh wait, we're in a factory, oh wait, there's children, oh, Black Mesa. Yeah, also, why do you have a card, is it a card 98k? I'm pretty sure it's a card 98k. Uh, again, I could be wrong about that. Ah! I hate these fucking things. It's just, it's strange. I mean, I know like, in things like The Man in the High Castle, um, they had this symbolic, um, like, for the purposes of symbolism, they had the resistance fighters using old uh, American weapons like Colts and, Tom and uh, Thompson SMGs, right? And then everyone else using, you know, German weapons or J Japanese weapons. Like, maybe that's what they were going for here? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think that's giving them too much credit. That's probably giving them too much credit, yeah. Also, yeah, why have they put in HEV recharging points when you don't have a HEV suit or any kind of shield? Like, what is the point? Ugh. Yeah, this is fun. Oh, oh yes, I forgot they added in iron sights. <sighs> ah! 
Iron sights in a Half-Life game. Oh yeah. Call of Duty, buggy walk. Fuck's sake. Call of Duty Buggy Warfare. Ugh. Ow! Right, I'm gonna assume that they respawn. Ah, you have to actually destroy them. Right. Nice if the game told you that. Ow. Be nice if the game told you that. Uh, no, this game is not free. It is. It was a. F uh, it was again. I think twenty dollars when it was released, or thirty dollars. And um, yeah, it is reduced now, but I paid seven pounds for it. No, this is not free. <laughs> this is not free. Oh really? One of the things that this game does as a way of sort of artificially increasing the difficulty is by putting you against loads of enemies with uh, not enough ammunition. It hasn't been too bad yet, but uh, I'm expecting it to get worse. I guess this is what you're meant to do. Again, game doesn't tell you shit. Yeah, there are literal HEV uh, charging suits <laughs> in this game. Why? Why? So it's one of those, yeah, just shoot everything. This is probably like the most exciting thing. I've seen in this game so far, genuinely. Because the odds, the odds in combat aren't completely stacked against you. Um, whereas in previous fights, you weren't even expect a lot of the previous fights, battle scenes that you saw, you weren't even expected to take part in. You just had to rush past them. This is. Oh dear. Oh. I hope you don't have to shoot literally every single one of these things. That would get extremely tedious. Okay. Apparently I can't damage that one. Apparently I can't damage that one either. Oh, this is efficient, yeah. Yeah, that was Luna in the background. She's fine. Yeah, maybe they did plan on giving you a suit and then just change their minds later. Oh, and the turret sound doesn't work. What a surprise. What a surprise. What a surprise. Look at this. Yay, stand in one place and shoot things. This is fun. Lovely. They're just combine chargers. Right, okay. I thought it was HEV. It looked like a HEV charger. It's still weird, though. I don't know, because you can't use them. Just think, well, what's the point of putting them in? But, yeah. Right, is that it? Is that all I had to do? Yeah, you control the charge with your mind. 
That's the same as in the half in uh, Half Life Two. To be fair, you just pressed use, and then you could use the controllers, use the guns. That was it. Yeah. Okay. Let's go this way. No. Um. No. I guess you've just got to keep shooting things. Love the broken sounds. Love it. Uh, is it this way I'm meant to go? I can't see a goddamn thing. I can't see a thing. Ah, okay. So I'm guessing I had to destroy more of those... Uh, more of those things because... Only one of the beams is disrupted, so I guess that's what I gotta do. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Yeah, you're probably gonna run out of mobile data by the time I've gotten out of this area. Right, so in a normal game, it would say to you, destroy all the turbines, um, you know, to overload the generator or whatever it is, whatever, whatever it is that you're meant to be doing here. It would tell you that. But, uh, it does not. And, it seems like some of them can be destroyed, but others can't. So... Okay. Yeah, if only there was a light. What is the point of the sequence? Yeah. We've had our action, but then what? Now what? Oh! Okay. Somehow that worked. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gordon, by the way, yeah, the game is called Hunt Down the Freeman. Uh, there hasn't been any hunting of the Freeman uh, in quite some time. Yeah, that is how you end a level. And that is how you do a transition. This is how you do a transition. Amazing. No cutscene, no explanation, nothing. So I've just gone from somewhere I didn't know where, and now I've gone somewhere else I didn't know where. I don't know where. <clears throat> Hello, Captain. Oh, it's Pyrocynical. Speak! I definitely heard Pyrocynical. water texture what is that <laughs> oh also what are these guys are they from like team fortress 2 or something jesus no worse than that oh god oh god the eyes <laughs> oh that was awful You know what, I should probably save, just, just because. Hello, Captain. There he is, that's Pyrocynical. <laughs> Hello, Captain. Hello, Captain. <laughs> this is the, and this is the only voice line he has for the rest of the game. And again, no explanation as to what I'm meant to be doing, or where I'm meant to go. Of course, they all look exactly the same, don't they? Now, it's a bit too much to ask for, you know, a couple of actual faces. Captain. By the way, uh, I do have subtitles on. I'm pretty sure. No, it's... Oh. Yeah, I have the subtitles on. Uh... But it doesn't matter. Even when I put them on full or anything, 
In fact, I'll show you. I'll put them on... For fuck's sake. I'll put them on... Um, all, and you'll see what happens. Right. It will play all the sounds in the game, but it will not play... Um, it won't play di like it won't record any dialogue. Okay, so apparently I can't go up to the helicopter, which seems like the place you would need to go. <sighs> Where the fuck am I meant to go? Honestly, where where am I meant to go? This is ridiculous. Right, I'm gonna try the helicopter again. No, nope. no, it's just an invisible wall. Maybe I'm meant to go further down into the level. Oh, okay, there's another staircase. Right. Can I jump? Yeah, you can jump. No, it does anything. Yeah. Yeah, um, maybe somebody has taken the time and effort to uh, write and uh, encode subtitles for this game. But I'd like to think that anybody that could do that would have better things to do with their time. <sighs> Genuinely, it's like they've designed an entire ship. Like, there you go, look. It tells you you can't use it. But it won't tell you when somebody is talking, which is what subtitles are meant to do. Oh, thanks for that door sound. I would never have known if you hadn't told me that that was a door sound. <laughs> Hello, Captain. <laughs> no clip into the ocean. <laughs> Can I use weapons? Well, I don't seem to have any equipped. So I'm guessing no. Wait, this is the way, yeah. I think. Oh. This is not fun. Oh. Okay. I just don't understand why it's such an important thing. No. The captain needs to see it. The captain. Needs to see what? And yes, that was who you think it was. Was gone, now it's back. A gift for the captain. <laughs> Do you recognize it? Where did you find this? <laughs> One of our guys, Kane, found this in the middle of the water. He was trying to hide it, but we caught him. Captain, isn't this... Oh, that was bad. <laughs> That was bad. Everybody get out. Get out! I said get out! We meet again at last. Wait, what? You. Authority, power, and time. We have kept our promise, Mr. Mitchell. <laughs> we gave you all the treasure you could possibly ask for. That wasn't treasure, it was a curse! All this power does nothing but kill. Authority only to murder. Nothing but the power to kill my own men. And this time, nothing but endless torture. Let me what the hell are you talking again, about? Captain. Wh whoever it takes. <laughs> Whatever it takes. However long it takes. That was the deal. And now the time has come again. We require your service. Yeah, the game gave IG we cancer. Need <laughs> to kill Dr. Freeman. If there is someone Freeman, not to Freeman. Blame for all of this, all of the suffering Gosh. is the Freeman himself. It's not the original voice actor, by the way. I don't want it. I don't want the power, the authority, not even the time. I just want it to end. Freeman could go to hell. Sadly. I have to inform you, it's not that easy. You see, Captain, from now on, our agreement is 
coming too. We've done our part, and now it's your turn to do yours. Or else? Then I have no option but to let you get in a battle that you have no chance of winning. Now, pardon me. These cutscenes go on to way longer than they need to. to its owner. Do not be late. City 17 awaits. Okay. Alex. Yes, Captain. Assemble the men. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Okay, and then we're just back to this ridiculously bright lit area, which is a invisible wall, by the way. How would you even know that you had to go down there to trigger the cutscene? Unless you spent ages wandering around the ship, just... Oh. Yeah, that was some very questionable... Oh, here we go. What's going on? We have to go to City 17. City 17? But why? Gordon Freeman is back. Somehow we have to find a way to reach the Combine and convince them to side with us so we can hunt down Freeman together. Whoa, 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 slow down. Reach the Combine? Gordon Freeman? Captain, are you mad? You hear what you're saying. I'm well aware of what I'm asking, Nick. Mitchell, even if that was true, you know what that means, right? People will die. Are you willing to lose everything we have? Everything we have? We don't own anything, Nick. We just borrowed it. Even our own lives. We weren't meant to live this long. Mitchell, I, I beg you. Please don't do this. This is madness. You're gonna get us all killed. You've survived for 20 years on this ship, and every single time we step foot on that land... See, there's an American so accent. ...innocent lives are taken. Those kids you took... Didn't they have enough? You don't care for any of them, do you? You never did. Just use them. Do what the hell you gotta do. But I'm not gonna be a part of this. God help us. <laughs> no. God will stay away from this one. <laughs> oh, so edgy. Oh, that dialogue. Yeah, you see how he uh, he transitioned from a British voice to a British accent to an American accent now. Uh, what was the entire point of that level where you rescued the kids? What was the point of it? You are tearing me apart, Mitchell! And, again, you're back in the corridor and then doing what? I guess you, we have to go back upstairs and, um, go to the elevator, I guess. Yeah, such a tragic story. Still a better love story than Twilight, though. Yeah. That was really, that was quite... Some more pyrocynical, saying yes, Captain, and no, I can't get past there. Okay. Oh, here we go. <sighs> yeah, apparently we rescued the kids. Apparently. Didn't see them. There wasn't even a cutscene, but uh, yeah, apparently you rescued them. Yeah, very interesting dialogue, yeah. So there was an entire, what, two hours of the game that was completely pointless. Completely pointless. The story, I say story, would have progressed exactly the same had it not happened. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and the entire the entire crew are clones, all voiced by Parasynical, yeah. Maybe those soldiers are the same kids. Maybe. Maybe that's why they all sound like Parasynical. Also, why is why is he bold now? Why is Aichi's character bold? Fuck knows. Oh, that deep, sad music. And by the way, he hasn't... He didn't say why they had to go to... City 17. Did he? I'm pretty sure he didn't say anything about that. Yeah, his character looks re it looks really weird bald. Like, it didn't look too bad before, but now it it's just weird. 
now it's just weird. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a good speech, isn't it? It's going to be epic. Can't wait. My men. For more than a decade, we fought together. We bled. We took lives, and we lost some dear to us. Okay, so it's been like ten years we did or so. What we had to, to survive. We knew no sin, nor honor. Long ago, I knew this day would come. <sighs> the day we would have to face a bigger threat. The day we would have to make a choice. Until this day, what? we have lived our lives freely. But there is a hard truth we must now face. Is he wearing Soon eyeliner as well? Or are they the just really shitty eyelashes? Completely, and there will no longer be any place for us to hide anymore. It is time to take action. Time to pick a side. When kings fight for their thrones, they sacrifice the ones they deem unworthy. Yeah, go watch the right they opinion. I'll be, I'll still be here. More royalty. Don't worry. Today I stand with you as one of your own. Uh, Twenty years, I yeah. Ask you, my brothers, to fight with me and show them who we are, what we are capable of, our strength and resolution, our bullets and our blades, our courage <laughs> and our cruelty. God, this... gentlemen. We are going to City 17. Okay, well, at least he sort of told them. Alright, so the oceans are being drained. Yeah, we know that. But what are they going to do to stop it? Let's find out. Oh, and yeah, it does that thing where it shows a flash from the previous scene. After the cutscene. And... Yes, the game likes to do this. It likes to spawn you in the opposite direction from where you need to go. Or well, that might actually, actually, this might be the need. That's this That's might. Where we have to go. Do I have to jump on the train? Okay. Was that the right thing to do? Oh, okay. Apparently, it was. <laughs> right. Thanks for the heads up, game. <laughs> Thanks for that heads up telling me where I needed to go. Oh, where is... Th where is this from? I'll give you three guesses. We should probably stay out of trouble. Yeah, um... Yeah. So, yeah, this is C-17 from the first game, but with some... Uh, little, some adjustments. Now, the thing is, in, uh, if they hadn't stole, stolen so many of their other assets, or reused so many assets, I would, um, I'd forgive them for this. Um, and I'd say, well, it's a homage, you know, obviously, you're going to the same area. Um, you know, you're going to the same area, so obviously it's going to be the same. What's the signal? Okay, so I have to talk to this guy, do I? Give him the signal. What's the signal? Tell me what the signal is! Talk to people. Nope. Nope. No one wants to talk. Yeah, in a different game where they hadn't, um, you know, reused all the assets, I'd say, oh, okay, it's a nice, you know, Half-Life 2 reference, but this is... Ri this no. This is ridiculous. Nope. Pick up that can. <laughs> pick up that can. Where's the can? I want to pick up a can. Now it's your turn, Will. Oh, okay. I didn't know it was going to be him because he looks like the other NPCs in Half-Life 2. How would I know it was him? Yeah, combined radio chat. That's the closest to the <laughs> subtitles working for the dialogue. <laughs> Absolutely. Is it before Gordon was here? I don't know. Goodbye, old friend. Where's Barney? Whoa! Okay, well that guy who just died was supposed to be our old friend. Uh, but never met him before, so I have literally no emotional investment whatsoever. Okay. Right. Yeah, it sounds great as well.
Now, about that beer I owe ya. No, it doesn't look like Barney's gonna be in this. And I'm quite glad. I think... I'm quite glad that he's not in this. Um, I don't think it would make this game better. I think it would just make Barney worse. Question is, where do I go? And, like, in Half-Life 2, it wasn't clear where you were supposed to go. Uh, but that was kind of the point of the start of the game, whereas in this game, it's just all the way through. You don't know where you're meant to go. So. Hey, Mitchell, over here! Is it through here? Okay. Hmm. But people die when they are killed. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. Was it a suicide bombing? Was it? Jesus. I didn't know it was a suicide bombing. That's, uh... That's rough. I'm just going to save the game, because... Now, is it just me, or have they managed to make City 17 look even worse than it did in Half-Life 2? Because I don't think it looked too bad in Half-Life 2. But Half-Life 2 is now, what, 14 years old? 15 years old? 14 years old? It's old. But I still I don't think it looks too bad by today's standards. Yeah, it wasn't so bare. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, but they added in a little shed with a wheelbarrow. That's nice. Nice little detail there. No, 10 out of 10. Yeah, Mauler asked me what my final rating for this verdict is. Well, so far, I've got to say it's exemplary 11 out of 10. I'm having such a great time. I don't know about the rest of you. I'm having a fantastic time playing this. It's awesome. Okay, so there's... Unless I'm doing something wrong, this is an entire area that's been modelled out, but you can't go anywhere. Yeah, you can't go anywhere. Yeah, so you may have noticed that the night vision has completely disappeared. Uh, and there is no replacement. Why are some places so dark? Oh, I don't know. It's just the, the devs didn't know how to program lighting properly, I guess. Um, or it must be this way, then. No. No. Yeah, could have just had a flashlight, but why they couldn't implement a flashlight, I don't know. Unless I have to go this way. They fucked up the AI, <laughs> and they wanted to remove your sight as well, as the way, it, maybe as a way of balancing the game. Oh, is there something in here? No, it's just a door. It's just an open door, and you can't go anywhere. All right, is it in here? No. All right, so it must be this way, then. What about up here? Nope. You have no weapons, by the way, so it's not like you can break anything. <laughs> what's, go what's going on here? Ap <laughs> exactly, Doran. Absolutely. Okay, can I climb up there? Ah! Okay, that looks like it could be promising. Uh, I need a box or something. I don't think I'm going to be able to stand on this, am I? Right, so, um, how many of you guys saw my uh, my my newest video about? Uh, um, Puberty, you know, the <laughs> am I normal puberty education? How many of you guys saw it? 
Because, uh, honestly, I had a bit of a... I was in a bit of a creative rut about it. I, I kept looking at it, and I'd written the script and stuff, and I kept thinking, oh, this isn't very... this isn't very funny. Oh, there's one here. Yeah, you guys thought it was good. Yeah, I, I was having a bit of, um... Ah, okay. I was just having a bit of, um... Yeah, I was in a bit of a rot about it. Be Oof. Because, um... For, for some reason, I just didn't think it would be good or funny at all. But I'm glad, I'm glad people enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> the fuck? What? What am I doing to that pipe? <laughs> I'm trying to climb it! <laughs> I'm trying to make sweet, sweet love to it with my hands. Uh, I'm guessing it can't be climbed then. Alright, is it time for no clip? I think it's time for no clip. I'm not gonna lie, my tolerance for not using low no clip has gotten ex very low. Yeah, so obviously you weren't meant to go up there because it's, um,. It hasn't been modelled. Yeah, you have to firmly grasp it with both hands. Take a good tight grip. Move your hands up and down the shaft. Uh, up and down the shaft to produce the desired effect. Whoa. I can just, yeah, I could just no clip into the combine areas, couldn't I? Where the hell am I meant to go? Whee! It's wee time! Whee! Right, I have to find areas of the game that have actually been modelled. That's the key to knowing where to go. Right, this has been modelled. Uh... Ah, okay. I guess... It's literally the same sequence from Half-Life 2. Okay. Uh, no. Oh wait. Keep going up. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh. Ah. Oh sh. No. Yeah. So it's. Pretty much same sequences in Half-Life 2, except slightly different. Slightly different radio chatter. Yay. Oh. Okay, I seem to be trapped. Where am I meant to go on this roof? What am I meant to do? Oh, just fucking kill me. Just do it. Go on. Just do it. And hero, ah, and hero myself. Yeah, I feel like it. Definitely no clipping this. Bye. Well, this is, uh, this is fun. This is, uh, this is fun. And I died. Cool. Awesome. Great. Maybe I should go back. Uh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back a bit. Oh, Christ. You should be more careful around here. <laughs> I should be more careful around here, yeah. Yes, I am confusing myself. <laughs> uh, I'm getting I'm getting really tired of this tonight, honestly. 
This game is awful. Is it this? Is it this one I had to climb up? No. No clip through the garage. Well, this one. Uh, okay. Uh, right. There are, yeah, there are no clues as to where I'm supposed to be going, or what I'm supposed to be doing. None. Whoa! Okay, cool. There was a ledge. Okay. I just can't see, I can't see shit in this game, man. Okay, this looks promising. Ah! Oh, I done fucked it now, guys. Oh, shit. I guess I... Right, so... Right, so I guess I have to go in here, yeah? And somehow he's inside the building. How is that possible? Okay. But how many... Yeah. How, so how many... How many times has this happened now where I've had to no-clip in order to get past the level? Ah, there we go. Oh, it's like Mirror's Edge, but shit. You're starting to feel guilty, Linda. Oh, thanks. Uh, supporting furry cruelty. Well, you kind of are. You kind of are. But uh, thank you. Thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Oh, there's a ledge. Right. Ah... Uh, Yeah, this is great. I love first-person platforming. Yeah, thank you, Linda. What will it take to review Shadman? Shadman? What is... Uh, I don't know what that is, man. What is it? Yeah, actual progression. And a fucking corpse. Are you fucking kidding... Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? How is this a- how is this a game that's been made? How- How does this exist? You know what, it's moments like this that make all the frustration worth it. Because most of the time, this felt this game is so awful and so frustrating. And but in the in you know, it's bad in the worst ways. And then you get bit bits like bits and pieces like this that just it just make it all worth it. Because you you can't help but laugh at that. How is this even possible? How is this a is this something that they deliberately put into the game? Just to fuck with people. Is this is this deliberate? Does this happen in other games? Oh, Christ! How? There's no way that's unintentional. Well, it is this way, isn't it? There's no way that's unintentional. <sighs> Fucking hell! Uh, Rebecca, how do I manage to read the comments, play and do commentary without getting mixed up? Um, it's difficult. 
I do get mixed up a lot. Um, basically, um, on the program I'm using, which is Streamlabs OBS, I've got the chat actually appears in a window. So that's on my second screen, and it's just to the left of the game. So I can sort of keep an eye on it um, while I'm playing. It's not too, it's not too hard. Ah, for God's sake. Oh, that's meant to happen. Get your hands off me. Okay. Cool. Cool. So I Yeah, great. Yeah, I do give I do give this game too much credit. Am I gonna do a video on this game? Uh probably not because um I find game reviews I find it uh the amount of footage that I have to go through a lot more difficult to edit down. Um, so I probably won't be doing that many actual game review videos. I just thought doing them as streams, uh, would be a bit more fun, a bit more interactive. Just give me a chance to chat with you guys, really. Um, and it's just slightly easier to set up and go. Okay. Okay, you can let me in. Okay, cool. Oh, well, this is going to be fun. I knew this day would come. Oh, for God's sake. I'm I turning this up. I was going to see this man one more time. Boris. Mr. Mitchell. It's been a long time, old friend. Uh, it what? has been indeed. Normally, I would ask you to excuse my curiosity <laughs> and uh, question why you are here. Why you show up after all those years, while being far away from the eyes of the Combine. But, I already know the answer. I know he sent you. Our mutual friend. Wait, you know him? Know him. Suck him he right. offered me a deal. And when I refused to complete his deal, he threatened me with my own daughter. Just be oh, careful. Oh dear, Mitch. Boris. He's a no good, lying son of a bitch. Ah. Excuse my behavior. <laughs> the reason I came here was to offer my help. I want to collaborate. And why do you think the Combine will agree to <laughs> your help? Complete. What yeah. could one man yeah, cut scenes. possibly give? Yeah, uh, that integral part of the Half-Life series. Do not misunderstand me. I do not underestimate you. I know what you are capable of. But how will you prove that? Those eyes, to yeah, the... they're so dilated. I'm not alone. I have a ship it's really and an weird. army. And I'm ready to hand over all of it, to be placed under the Combine's command. That is a rich offer indeed. Please. Wait, what? Excuse me for a little while. Okay, cool. <laughs> right, okay. They just left me in this area. Okay, I guess I have to leave. Nope, I can't leave, so what do I do? Do I pick up the phone? No! How long has it been since we last saw each other? I don't know, I'm guessing like... 15, 18 years? I guess that ex that explains why there was that pointlessly long middle section. Um... Oh, I, I have to wait. Thank you for your... Patience, Mr. Mitchell. What was the point of that? Dr. Breen wanted me to inform you that he, along with our collaborators, is impressed by your desire to hunt down Gordon Freeman. <laughs> In normal times, it just made you wait. Wouldn't even Why? Be mentioned. But these are extraordinary times. You know what they say the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Good. Now all yeah. we have to do is His find Freeman. Looks weird. We already know where he is hiding. We have yeah, look, it does look like there's a fucking ribcage in his neck. 
This brings me to another topic. You remember my Sasha, my daughter? Yeah, I do. She's grown up now. That person we very briefly saw for about two seconds. She's in the resistance, as a spy. I will make sure that if she sees you, she will recognize you. But when you get out there, Massacring members of the Resistance. Whatever you do, do not. Oh, thanks, Lucas. I repeat, do not harm her, or I will kill you. Yeah, what is with his forehead? Sounds wrinkles? like a deal. Let me ask you something, Boris. You said you have spies inside the Resistance, right? Correct. So you do know where Freeman is. Correct. Where is he? Black Mesa East. Huh. At least he sort Mesa. of said it right. Sort of. That was a little bit closer, but okay. Still not ideal. Yeah, those wrinkles are as deep as the writing in this game. Super deep. Oh, quite. Oh, no, and now I've got an AK. Okay. Uh, that suddenly swapped to a pistol. Machine gun. Now I have a bunch of different guns. Right, okay. Fine. Uh, to explain briefly, Black Mesa is the research facility where Gordon Freeman worked. There was an experiment that went wrong. Aliens came through. You were part of a military team sent through to put it down. And Gordon Freeman beat the shit out of you, and that's why you want revenge on him. Go, go, go! Nothing to report. It's possible. Alright, so now we're. Oh, let me turn this fucking shit down. So, uh, now we're attacking the resistance, I guess. Oh, yeah. So the resistance are the other guys fighting against the uh, combine occupation. If you didn't. If uh, you haven't played Half-Life games. Jump, soldier. Let's see if they've improved the AI since Act 1. Let's see if they've improved the AI. Yeah, sure fucking looks like it, doesn't it? Also, why do they have AKs? Yeah, at least I've got Pyro Cynical to help me. Why do they have AK-47s? When did they use AK-47s in Half-Life? Or Half-Life 2? Okay, cool. What? No, I was definitely shooting her in the face. I was definitely shooting her in the face. And it just... It... <laughs> Come on, Pyrocynical. We've got rebels to kill. <laughs> Oh, here we go again. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love the physics as well. I love the ragdoll physics. Amazing. Yeah, the turret is invincible. I thought that might be the case. Everybody rush B. Rush B. Go, go, go. Why? Why won't it let me in? The... Why won't it let me go in the fucking? Why won't it let me go in the vent? <sighs> Why? <laughs> go on, Pyro Cynical. Go on. Oh, it's just. Well, at least the AI moves out of your way now. Death is not the end, but a transition. <laughs> rush B, rush B. Uh, 
That's some great tactics for the God damn it, I can't take this game seriously while I'm hearing Pyrocynical's voice. I can't do it. Wait, so can I go in? Can I go in there? No. Alright, try rushing. Go, go, go. No, it's an invisible wall. It's an invisible wall. Yeah, I'll turn it down a bit. Yeah, during sections like this, the gunfire gets a bit overwhelming. Yeah. It's no clip time. Is it wee wee time? Is it wee time? Ah, uh, come on. Oh no, that's not a secret hidden way round. <laughs> it's P90 time. Yeah, shall I just no clip it? This is fun. Yeah, I tried to go in the vent and it just, it wouldn't do it. It would not work. Alright, I'm guessing he's, he stays invincible until he's triggered or something. Maybe. Right, is that an actual... Right, I'm going to... Turn off no clip and go back in the world and then I'm stuck. No, it's not. It's just... You're stuck in the vent. Okay, yeah. Absolute masterpiece. Yeah. Right, so how do we get past this bit? Okay, and the column just fucking disappears, because why not? What is this map? Right, let's go up here, see if... Right, so clearly... Hmm. Right, so... Yeah, it must be this way. <laughs> uh, even though this vent was a complete dead end. It was a complete dead end. You couldn't go down it. Well... Oh, I absolutely love the fucking... I love the fucking physics. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, I know you're supposed to go through the vents, but it... I went in the vent. Or, well, it wouldn't even let me go in the vent. I no-clipped into the vent, and then I couldn't move. <laughs> so, how am I supposed to progress? Like, what am I supposed to do? I feel like this is something that was made... You know, an art student might have made, like, while they were studying video game design. I just didn't have the basics down, right? Right, so that, if I just put on no clip again, oh, is that a vent? Well, I, I, I don't even know. Okay, what's the next bit that I have to go into? Oh, right. But again, you can't see shit. Let me pop a flare, okay? Right. Okay, cool. Right, well, 
Ah. I just wasted that flare. Thanks for that. Cool. Ah. Yeah, this is this is fun. Quite a surreal experience, actually. Whoa. Oh, Christ. Like, it's not like I'm even skipping past the... the boring bits. It's just... I have to skip to progress. There's a shotgun that you need to get that disappears. Well... Oh, these attacks so slowly as well. R slash Fulbright 0-1. Uh, is that going to make the entire game really bright, though? Okay, now my AK has disappeared because I have no ammunition for it. Wonderful. <laughs> FPS airsoft game. <laughs> okay, so these, for those of you who don't know, these are the Vortigons, and they're like an alien race who are allied with the resistance against the Covenant. Oh, sorry, not the Covenant. Combine. Wrong fucking game. I'm getting tired. Right, so you have to go this way then? Or... Nope, I guess not. Okay. Right, so that... I guess that's where the vent comes out from upstairs. Uh, let me just... Ah! Yeah, so I'm guessing that that's where the vent comes out. Uh, and then you have to go up the stairs. But I couldn't get in the vent. So... <sighs> sometimes I'm honestly in just... I'm honestly in disbelief. Sometimes. Now how could they make it this way? Yeah, I'm filthy casual. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Real devs could just read the game's mind. We know exactly where they meant us to go. And if you can't, you're just a... Filthy mobile gamer. Yeah. Right, I should probably save. Uh, I should be used to how the game... Well... I should be used to it, but it still manages to surprise me. Still manages to surprise me. Right, I'm gonna go for like five more minutes, I think, or at least till the end of this level, whichever is quicker. At least this gun, at least this submachine gun sounds okay. Like, apart from this and the shotgun, are the only weapons that seem to have any kind of. feel like they've got any kind of impact, honestly. Thank you, my dear. I don't give a spam. What's my opinion on Diablo Immortal? I did give my opinion uh, during the last the um, my Q and A stream, but yeah, I think it's I think it's ridiculous that they uh, would re would announce that before um, they'd announce work on a uh, PC game. Like they completely misjudged the mood of the fan base, and they got people hyped for nothing. Really ridiculous. Oh. Right, and now I'm down to virtually no ammo. So this should be fun. I don't know what these resistance guys were doing in the shower. Impulse 101, become a god and actually have fun. Well, part of the reason I'm doing this is so that I, uh, I don't have fun. That's kind of the point. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I know I know that there are people that watch that aren't really interested in the games or gaming in general themselves, but they just like to hear my voice. And that's fine. I, th I just think it doing this fits in with my, um, with my channel quite well. Yeah, why don't they drop ammo? Very good question. Uh, any plans to do another EFAP? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, they've invited me to go on again at some point in the future. Uh, they've got a lot of people that they want to get on. Uh, so it's just a case of getting through them. Uh, and basically finding something that would work, basically. So yeah, I'd like to go on again. It was fun. Ooh, it's the lab from Half-Life 2. Ooh, I see now. Interesting. I mean, even when they're reusing the same game assets as from Half-Life 2 and somehow managing to make it look even shittier. <laughs> uh, it still has incredibly bad loading times. Right. They're not dropping any, uh, they're not dropping any ammo. <laughs> they're not dropping any ammo, guys. <laughs> it's knife time. At least you run faster with a knife. Oh, no, wait, you don't. Right, get this. Not a single one of them. Oh. Oh, I did have AK-47 ammo. Oh, I feel a bit fucking stupid now. I feel like I should... No, I feel like I should reload, but no, I'm not going to. Rebel scum. Yes. Ah! I completely zoned out then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think my voice is going a bit as well. To be honest, shooting these guys is... Uh... <laughs> shooting these guys is um, probably the most satisfaction I've gotten out of this stream so far. Aside from you guys, of course. I could have a hack stream, yeah, but I feel like that would just defeat the point. Yeah, I'm gonna die in a minute, aren't I? No, I'll, I'll load that save. It's very filthy casual of me, but... This is more like it. I kind of wish the Rebels had also been uh, voiced by Pyrocynical. And they'd say something like, Oh, Captain, we are so fucked. Or like, oh no. Every time they, <laughs> every time they died. That would be funny. Might make this game actually entertaining. I like how the Rebels are just waiting in these rooms. Like... It's like they're waiting to die. But then, you know... Imagine the AIs with shit. Yeah, the, the, the handgun does seem a bit stronger, weirdly enough. Okay, that was funny, though. Ah! Okay, now I'm back to no ammo. Oh, for God's sake. Why? Why do they do this? Why do they do this? Yeah, I could have used those pi- <laughs> Right, could have used that I- Yeah, someone should make a mod for this game where every sound effect is just pyrocynical. Someone should do that. I would play that again. Uh, just kill me, go on. Come on, do it! Kill me! Kill me now! And then he just walks away. There we go. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I really just want to get past this bit now. 
Defeat them with the binoculars. <laughs> See, that's how you play this game in hard on hardcore mode. It's just defeat. It's defeat every enemy with the binoculars. Right. I'm guessing the enemies will continuously respawn. That's what I'm guessing. I really don't know, honestly. <laughs> I do love the physics, I gotta say. Okay. Gotta say, the shooting feels nothing like Half Life. See, this is what I mean. It will just. They'll just continue to spawn in enemies until you run out of ammunition and then you have to run back. Ugh. Oh. One of them actually made a sound then. The devs only hurt you because they love you. Oh, thank you. Um, thanks for the donation. Yeah. It's, uh, it's an abusive... I feel like it's an abusive relationship, though. Okay, no, I'm out of ammunition again. Oh, come on. What happens if I just run through? What happens if I just run through? Need some goddamn ammo. If you kill a bad guy, it should give you some ammo. That's how it should work. I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to do this one more time and then I'll probably just say fuck it. Do it next week. Although, you know what, if I'm honest, this is one of the f this is one of the few times when this has felt uh, like an actual game and not well, even if a very shit one, this is the time it's felt like an actual game. <laughs> I have to say, because at least I'm doing something. At least I'm shooting something. What is that sound? <sighs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, you can't have any plot holes if there's no plot. <laughs> Am I getting ammunition for the other gun? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, the entire game is a plot hole. Oh, 
Like, even if I conserve ammunition, I still... <sighs> I still run out. Alright, bye, Miller. Yeah, maybe I should just run through. Uh... Yeah. Oh, was it weed that the rebels were farming? Actually, you know what? Let's find out. I kind of want to see again. Oh, I kind of want to check that out now. Now that you've said that. Okay, cool. Nice bullet sponge. I love it. I'm, I'm getting a bit sick of hearing that music. Not gonna lie. Alright, is it weed? Mm. I don't know. What do we think, guys? What do you think it is? Yeah, I'll just no-clip. I'll just fucking no-clip. Don't even care anymore. I'm gonna kill them because they annoy me. Right. Bye, fuckers. In the game's defence, they do at least sometimes give you flares to mark where you're supposed to go. I suppose that's something. Yay, it looks like we made progress. This game needs more weed labs. Yeah, it does. You think it looks like weed? Yeah, I think it looks like weed. Weeds more than weed. Oh. Oh, this is going to be the final boss. It's going to be the final boss, isn't it? Please let this be the final boss. Can't wait for this to be over. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, elevators make, make uh, for good... Um, what's the word? They're good for hiding loading screens. Uh, speaking of loading screens, oh, uh, yes, there is another one. Fantastic. The final boss of the game is a loading screen. Up next, a Hatafu boyfriend. <laughs> uh, I do want to play a Hatafu boyfriend at some point. It's just... Ooh, shotgun. Uh, with four bullets, but okay. Um, but I don't think it's a bad... It doesn't. It's not a bad game. It's just weird and funny. <laughs> Maybe I should play that just to balance this out. Uh, I'll finish this first. I'll, f I'll finish this first. I'm gonna need a flashlight. It's too dark outside. Oh, now you need a flashlight. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, I just wasted half my ammo, but... I'm sure there might be some more. Under the table where I can't, where I can't reach it. A flashlight, a flash, flashlight. What? What? Um. Okay. Um. You know what, guys? I'm gonna leave it there for tonight because I've been going for three hours. So. Uh. Good save. Um, I'm going to pick up next week. 
Oh, fucking Christ. Uh, yeah, that was awful. Yeah, I don't think duct taping a flashlight to a gun is a good idea. Um, maybe, but we'll see. <laughs> feels like 90 hours. Yeah, it, it feels like... A, well, actually, no. The time has gone very quickly because as much as I'm moaning, I am having a good time. Um... I'm having a good time doing this with you guys, uh, as much as I do hate this game. It's kind of, it's fun for me. Uh, how, how have you got, have you guys enjoyed the stream? You guys enjoying this format of content? Um, I want to do, I just want to do this, um, in between, like, uh, video releases, basically, or as an extra thing to do, to do, um, because obviously it's a little bit easier than doing the videos, and it just lets us, you know, lets us chill, and you can watch yourself, you know, I don't think it's cool, yeah, so... As long as you guys are enjoying it and you're, you know, keep it going, that'd be cool. Oh, thanks to, thanks again to Kumi. Thank you for that donation. I think, actually, uh, I think somebody, I can't remember who it was, donated to me earlier. Um, and I don't, I don't know if it was a super chat. Um, no, let me just, I'm going to find it. Because I got, a, I got a Google email alert about it. But I just want to say cheers, whoever did that. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> uh... Okay, so I think somebody under the name of Mystical Wolf, I think it was, donated to me. Uh, so thank on uh, on PayPal. So thank you for that, whoever that was. Uh, much appreciated. Um, but yeah, as long as you, as long as you guys are enjoying it, uh, it's a cool thing. I will keep doing it. I do want to make it a regular thing, uh, work commit, work permitting. Um, my rotor at work does change from week to week. So it's just about, uh, basically when I can do it really. So I'm just going to quickly check what my rotor's like for this week. Uh, I should have done this before, really. It's a bit unprofessional, but... You guys are cool. You're fine. You're fine with it. Yeah, so... Again, I'm off, uh, I'm off next Sunday. So, uh, yeah. So, we'll say... Sitting on the menu doesn't count as playing. I've finished playing, Mauler. <laughs> Been going for three hours. Uh, yeah, so I'll be back here... Uh, at uh, six o'clock again... Uh, same time next Sunday. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish the game then. I'm probably only going to go for like two hours rather than three because this is really killing my voice and really pissing me off, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, uh, for, those of you, for those of you who are still here, uh, just a reminder, uh, I have set up a subreddit. Uh, it's another place for us to like chat and you guys to talk about latest videos, uh, post memes, and um, um, also like submit ideas, like give me ideas for future videos or stuff to watch because, um, you know, stuff does pass me by and if it's really shit then, you know, it might make for a good video, so yeah, there's that and also I've set up an Instagram if anybody hasn't seen because people were asking me for one uh, so it's mainly just fan art and pictures of my dog, but um, yeah, there might be other, and, and just other interesting things on there as well uh, so yeah, links to both of those are in the description uh, I am currently setting up a Patreon uh, but I want, I'm still thinking about how to do the rewards, the rewards, so I haven't, that's, that's not live yet. Uh, so I will, I'll say more than happens. And I am working on the next video, uh, still watching the, uh, film and making notes. Um, I'm hoping to have it out by next Saturday, but I am working a lot this week, so probably not. Uh, but that's, that's going to be my goal. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, thanks very much for watching the stream, and I will see you. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves, and I will see you next week.